What is everybody? It's your boy, same one thumb, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm excited about this one. I seen this one come across earlier today. Man, Anthony Vincent, I, it's nice to be able to get something new of his, so I had to get it because uh, it just came out. Um, this dude's amazing. I love his channel. I love what he does. I love his covers and his singing. He's an amazing artist for sure. But before we get started into this, uh, this reaction, because I know you're here because you love Anthony Vincent too. I'm going to talk about this for about a minute, if that's fine with you guys, about 30 seconds to a minute or so. I'm making candles. This is my very first one of all. I've never made them before until last night. It's my first one. Yesterday was, actually. I got three more I'm going to make, and I'm giving one away for free. All right, so how to get this candle. Uh, this one I'm going to burn because uh, I actually read about this and watched about this. I didn't do my temp right, so it kind of sunk in the middle, and it's sweating. So... Uh, the dye or the scent is coming out, whichever, but it smells like sugar cookies. That is the fragrance that I chose, and I got a green dye. I might do one without a dye, maybe. Uh, I'll make, I got three more to make, so I'll, I'll make one not green, and the other two will be green. So if your name is chosen, if you go to my comments and you say, I want that candle, that's, that is the keyword, I want that candle, or keywords, uh, that will put you in the hat, basically. Your name will go into the hat to be drawn on Thursday. So this is going on till Wednesday. Today is July 23rd, or actually right now it's the 24th, it's past midnight. But July 24th, all the way till Wednesday, whatever day that's gonna be. And then the drawing, I will draw out on Thursday. <clears throat> so if you want this candle, just say, I want this candle, or I want that candle, and I'll put your name in the hat, and I will draw a name Thursday. <clears throat> but let's get into this one right here, you know what I'm saying. The Anthony Vincent is, uh, I guess, rating the top 10 singers of all time. I've watched videos like this before, not from him, just it was literally just the running of top like 100 singers throughout time, I guess. Some were kind of like, eh, and some were like, really? That's where they placed that? And then some were like, dang, that that makes sense. So I, I kind of want to hear his opinion and what he's going to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into this right here. You know what I'm saying? Let's, Anthony Ventman, this dude right here, you got to give it up to this guy. This dude has grinded and he does a lot. He's 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 amazing talent. He has amazing skill and range. Good rock singer voice too. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's get into this. It's also 13 minutes long, too. Of all time. Let's go. Okay? Of course, Watch Mojo has one of those videos. They have a couple of videos. One of the videos that they have is the top 10 greatest vocalists of all time, but they also have top 10 male vocalists of all time, which I think is interesting. We'll see how that all pans out. It's a little bit difficult when you're talking about vocalists because it's such a generalized instrument. Good singing is so subjective and it has so many layers and there's so many yep. categories of what people think makes a singer good. <laughs> I personally think that great singers are singers with iconic voices where you hear them once, you hear just one word and you say, well, oh, that's who that is. So okay, yeah, we'll stop you right there, Anthony. We'll stop you right there, man. I agree with that. Yeah, a good singer, well, not even a good singer, just a person with an iconic voice. So, like, you go... Whitney Houston, you hear her voice, you know who she is. Or we could go even to a metal, David Drainham from you know from Disturbed, you know his voice, you hear it, even his singing voice, rock voice, whatever, you hear it, you know exactly who he is. Um, a Nickelback, uh, Saliva, Foo Fighters, whatever, you hear even just a word, you know exactly, oh, I know who that is. You know what I mean? Celine Dion. The list goes on. And then you have these kind of cookie cutter singers where like you'll think oh that's Ariana Grande right but then you find out it's some other new girl who just came out who is just sounding just like Ariana Grande you get what I'm saying and there's a lot of that there's always a lot of that and I guess that's what's big so hey get, you know, get it while you can and make it work all right let's continue on iconic voices where you hear them once you hear just one word and you say oh that's who that is so i'm going to go through the video 
I'm going to sing an iconic song from each of the singers that they list just to see how good they really are. Because if I can sing it, anybody can sing it. And then I'm going to go through what you feel are the greatest vocalist of all time because I did ask that question a couple of weeks ago and then I'm going to go and make my own list at the end of this video but before we begin I have to ask okay, that you yeah, press your lips his up against the like button on this video just like that kiss the like button uh, leave a comment and guess who the number one vocalist in the entire world is ready here we go what okay, I no, wait. I'm going to guess I'm going to guess I, I don't know if he'll bring him up or not Man, that's a tough one. I'm gonna say Dimash. Dimash Kuderbergen, a uh, male vocalist, female vocalist. Oh, man, Floor Floor Jensen. Uh, you know, I mean, they're both amazing. There's a lot of good singers though out there, but I'll say Dimash for the for the males for sure, for sure. All right, let's get it. Y'all let me know. The top 10 vocalist of all time brought to you by Watch Mojo is a lot of divas. A lot of rangy, rangy, powerful, high-pitched singing. Basically, a lot of singers that are within the same genre. They're not going to go in, they're not going to go into a lot of rock singers. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 vocalists of all yeah, lists. Yeah, We've chosen yeah. our number 10, Tina Turner. This multi-talented artist really turned heads as part of the duo, the I mean, Ike and Tina Turner. Number 10 Turner sounds review. about right. Yeah, she, had, she was a part of a, an abusive relationship. <laughs> what? His timing and his editing is always great. His, his his sense of humor is great. I mean, there's times where I wish I had that sense of humor. You know what I mean? I'm I'm all right. I'm kind of funny. I think. I hope. I don't know. But <laughs> his sense of humor is great, man. I love this dude right here. That's why I had to get this. It's, it's nice to actually be able to react to something new of his. I seen this come across today. It's like 14 hours ago when I was at work. I was like, oh my god, I got to get that one for sure. Because uh, I've I've only done a couple reactions of, of his channel so far, and to get something new, definitely a must do. All right, let's continue on. This it's a long video. I need quick pausing. Really turned heads. As part of the duo, the Ike and Tina Turner Review. Yeah, she had, she was a part of a, an abusive relationship. <laughs> Subtle. Oh, What's man. What's love got to do, got to do with it? What's love but a second-hand emotion? Rock version. Yep. Put it on YouTube. Rock cover of What's Love Got to Do with It. All right. Hey, press subscribe right now. Number nine, Ella Fitzgerald. I don't know who that is. Yeah, some of her scatting is out of control. Scatting is like an art in and of itself. I have to say that she deserves to be on this list 110%. Um, I can't I don't do know that what, I, I don't shit. know what scatting is. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, so that's why the, there's that song. They call me the Scat Man. I am the Scat Man. That's why he's called Scat Man. I thought he meant scat as in scat, like poop. <laughs> I was good at <laughs> My keyboard just fell. <laughs> Yeah, I love that kind of stuff, man. I love it. Number eight, Stevie Wonder. Yeah. All right, this goes without saying. He belongs on the. I mean, Stevie Wonder is one of the greatest of all time. It's just like I don't even. I don't even feel comfortable singing one of his songs. I just wanna say. What's a, what's some what's a good Stevie Wonder song? Uh, you are the sunshine of my life. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Let's get yeah. one minute old. <laughs> Number seven, Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. What? Of Number course. Seven? Yeah, There's she's, something wrong here. She should I'm be sorry. up a little more. She's one of the greatest vocalists of all time. This list is already going way down. <laughs> Where? 
It must be somebody this way better than her. Comic. If that's Number the case. Seven? I can't sing any Whitney Houston. And I... <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, for, for the people in the comments, I know Dolly Parton sang that first. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you drop the key, that could be a good Disturb song. I wanna dance with somebody! Then I bring up Disturb. <laughs> Number six, Mariah Carey. Fun fact about that that uh, music video. Fantasy was, uh, was filmed at Rye Playland, right here in Westchester, New York. Also, Big with Tom Hanks was filmed on that boardwalk as well. You'll always be a part of me. I'm part of you indefinitely. But don't you know you, you can't ain't got it, bro. Me. Oh, my darling, cause you'll always be my baby. Song definitely makes you question your sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, by the way, Mariah Carey deserves to be on this list. But what did I say? Divas, 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 divas. Octave vocal range. Octaves upon octaves upon octaves, 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 octaves. Number five, Etta James. That's the kind of music that makes you just go. It flows through you, makes you makes you want to just be like. Oh, come along. My lonely days are over. Number four, Elvis Presley. This is where we talk about iconic voices here. Yeah, he Elvis, iconic voice. very iconic voice. Very recognizable. As far as like having a big range or anything like that, uh, he has a nice full voice. A lot of iconic songs. Wise man but not, yeah, not a whole lot of range, huh? I can say that, yeah, not a whole lot of range on Elvis. Yeah, he kind of always did the same. Well, I guess. I mean, it's still pretty much the same. You know, a little less conversation, a little more action. Yeah, so it's still about the same. He always kind of sung the same. But hey, it worked, right? Let's get it. <laughs> you know how he does that? Kind of like, it's almost like a fast pace, like, only fools rush in. He's the most uh, impersonated singer. One of the most impersonated singers. Oh, yeah, of course. I just impersonated time, him. So yeah. I think that says a lot. Number three, Michael Jackson. I really have a difficult time determining where on the list he belongs, and of course they're going to place him closer to the top. It goes a little bit deeper than just singing. He's a great entertainer. He's one of the greatest entertainers of all time. A lot of people think that good singing is high singing, and his voice was placed high as it is. He's always had a high, he always had a high voice from when he was a child. No, see, I, that's, I was gonna say that, you know, I've, I've, I've this thing I always talk about, in, in the Jackson 5, when Michael Jackson was singing as a kid, his voice was almost lower as a kid than in his adult life. But again, I guess training and practice and, you know, nonstop vocal athletics training, uh, he was able to sing a little higher. But we, when, when he was a kid, he was a little more flat. Again, you're, you're a kid, you're learning, and his voice wasn't so, I can't do it. Um, you know what I mean? It's a little more low to me. That's just one, that's my opinion on that one. All right, take it or leave it. I said it one of those rare instances that he you know where puberty never affected his voice if anything he got better and better as time yes, went on yes, in his right. career one of my favorite michael jackson songs is uh, earth song <laughs> yeah that's that a good song i know that song yeah that he starts talking about trees and elephants what about elephants Number two, Freddie Mercury. Of you gotta have Freddie uh, I think Mercury it goes on here. Without saying, Freddie was um, the best. Okay, so my favorite Queen song. I work hard every day of my life. I work to like my bones at the end. I take home my heart and pay all on my own. I get down my knees and Sing I start brother. to pray to the tears run down from my eyes. Somebody, oh, somebody, <laughs> okay. can anybody find me? Somebody to love. 
before we unveil you our know, number one pick, I want to, <clears throat> I want to hear Anthony Vincent. You know, he always has that. You know, he has that rock voice. He sings with that, with that tone. But I would like to hear more of a low growl. You know, I would like to see if he could do more of a versus you know that which I can't do. By the way, okay, I'm no singer. <clears throat> I could growl better than I could sing, that's for sure. Uh, I'd like to hear him do a little bit more of that, you know what I mean? But I liked how he transitioned between his to the <laughs> That's just great. That's talent in itself. I'm serious. All right, let's get it. Here are a few honorable mentions. Yeah. James Brown. Let me give him more weight. How is James Brown not on this list? He's an honorable mention. That's it. Ray Charles. Georgia, Georgia. No, that's good. I, I mean, that's Charles a little low. Great. I don't know. I, I, I think he, he's an honorable mention. Also, Ray is one of the greatest biopics of all time. The new Frank Sinatra. <laughs> of course you'd put God, Frank Sinatra, in honorable mention. But you know, to be fair, out of the Rat Pack, Sammy Davis Jr. was the best singer. And he's not even in this. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah. How is Bruce Dickinson not higher on the list? I told you they weren't going to add a lot of rock vocalists. Yeah. Number one. At least they had one, Aretha though. Franklin. That's gotta be an old list or something. She has one of those untouchable voices. I am not yeah. surprised that she is number one on this list. But I am very disappointed. There are a couple of vocalists that come to mind. I cannot believe they are not included in this list. Now, let's go to who you think are the greatest vocalists of all time. I already told all right, you. I'm gonna say Dimash Kitty Berrigan. Why? Because the guy can sing incredibly well on pitch, gives it the right emotion and feeling. Apart from all of that, he also plays guitar. Well, that's a good it. last name. I'm gonna agree that Matthew Bellamy from Muse is one of oh, the greatest right. yeah, vocalists. Yeah, from Muse. Yeah, he is genre. good. Yeah. And it's because he really knows his voice well, uses it to the best of its ability. Great yep. guitarist. He's the package deal. Very professional dude. Uh, Haley Williams is an amazing vocalist. Yes, she is. I've always thought she had a very powerful voice. Freddie Mercury, Chester Bennington, Bruce Dickinson, Sebastian Bach, Ronnie James Dio, Steve Perry. Okay. Luciano Pavarotti. Yeah, Pavarotti. He belongs there. In my opinion, I would say Michael Jackson, James Brown, Sinatra, Mercury, Amy Winehouse, one house. Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Marvin Gaye. Dude, this is a very fair list. Now I'm going to give you my top 10. Bruce All Dickinson, right, number 10. He's one of my <clears throat> favorite vocalists. Definitely has influenced me. Number 9, Chris Cornell. I believe he should be later in the list. Yeah. But I have to consider the amount of talent that we're being put up against. Yeah, number a lot. 8, Jeff Buckley. I feel like without Jeff Buckley, bands like Muse and Radiohead wouldn't sound the same. Number 7, Marvin Gaye. Oh, I, yeah. I, I'm shocked. Yes. <laughs> He's not on Watch there. Mojo of all places, the pristine list makers did not include Marvin Gaye. Number six, Stevie Wonder, 100%. Yep. Number five, Michael Jackson. I got to put Michael Jackson closer to five, closer to the middle, because we got we got some big big hitters coming. Number four, Freddie Mercury. Number three, Aretha Franklin. I'm yep. putting Aretha Franklin because I got a very specific reason. She's going to be number three, but. I feel like she kind of goes neck and neck with the next one. Number two, Sam Cooke. He is Why good. Why yeah. was Sam Cooke not included Amazing. in the list? That Amazing is one of the greatest singer. soul voices of all time. There's no and joke. And number one, Whitney Houston. Okay, now metal honorable mentions. Peter Steele. He has a signature voice. He really put bass vocalists on the map. There haven't been too many bass vocalists or baritones that have done it the way he has, that have been as influential as he has been. Mike Patton, he's got a six octave range, this guy. This guy can make all different types of crazy sounds with his voice, can make all different types I don't of know sounds. Who that is, he's though. got a great voice, do. great scream. He's influenced so many bands and singers. He also voiced the zombies in I Legend, what? I think. Devin Townsend, oh, he did I say more? <laughs> The older this guy gets, the better he gets. His talent knows no bounds. 
not only vocally but musically and just he's a genius Laurel Dane from Nevermore he's one of the most underrated vocalists in the genre he always had his own style very interesting I don't know who it's that is either people either got it or they didn't it was a very dramatic sound um, I, I never heard a voice like that paired with the kind of music that Nevermore made it was almost as if Bowie went heavy metal and now other honorable mentions we got Sinatra Michael Bolton deserves to be on this list <laughs> he's got one of the strongest yes. voices especially in that belting chest Indeed. as for modern vocalist Brendan Urie he has a hell of a range and he's very professional now I know some of you may feel in the comments that you have the ultimate list of the best singers in the world so i encourage you please put them below who is your favorite vocalist and who deserves to be recognized as the best that's all i got for you remember to uh press your ass cheeks mm -hmm. against the phone and hopefully it hits the <laughs> don't make me do it don't make it's on it's on anthony you you, you you did it yourself you caused it <laughs> all right all right, so we already know what he's going to say right there. He's going to say subscribe and comment. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, Anthony, if you see this, that'd be cool if you did. But if not, hey, whatever. You guys get to see it. Maybe you can share it around and get it to Anthony. I'm going to give my list. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I can think of, you know, think of 10 off the top of my head. I'll try. Uh, especially names, too. I mean, I, f I forget names of some people, but I'll, I'll give a handful. I'll give the top, like, five. Chester Bennington for rock. Um, yeah, Mariah Carey's got to be up in there. I, I, I could probably do ten. Let's, let's, give, let's, let's give my top five my favorites. So, go Chester Bennington. We could go back with the Mariah Carey, and then we go to man. Who'd be next though, for real though? <laughs> oh man, my favorites. So many out there. I'm trying to think. Who'd be next? We'd go Celine Dion. And let's go uh, Floor Jensen and Dimash Cutie Bergen. So I don't know, Anthony, if you've heard, again, I'm talking to Anthony here like as if he's going to see this. He might never, ever see this. But if you haven't heard of Dimash Cutie Bergen, you need to check Dimash Cutie Bergen out and just watch the diva dance. That's it. Enough said. Or even um, SOS. Check that out. I mean... Dude, I mean, seriously, I think Dimash is literally one of the top singers of the whole world. I mean, just insane, crazy skill with the whistle note and all. I mean, eight octaves. This dude's insane. Uh, so I think he needs to hear him to put him on this list because there's no way. You know, I, I watched the whole list of 100 top singers in the whole world, and the person who ended up in first place was Dimash. Uh, that I think that list is probably a little bit more accurate on that because Dimash is absolutely insane. And not only does he sing in English, he sings in different languages, like three or four or five different languages, something like that. This dude, this dude's crazy. I, I still could, I, I could change some things up <clears throat> on the list, though, for sure. I mean, got to have a you know, a Amy Lee. I can't. Uh, oh yeah, David Drainum. Got to have da you know, David Drainum. So a Amy Lee, David Drainum, number nine. Now I could put him a little higher than that. Probably put him number five, and then Chester Bennington, number four. Uh, but Amy Lee, Amy Winehouse is good too. Um, the lead singer from Seether. And you don't get to hear a whole lot of his his range and tone and things. But if you listen to Save Today, it really shows a lot more of his power that he has. I, I love that song. That's why I put him on the list here. Uh, man, there's, there's a bunch, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I already gave him my top five, so there you go. 
All right, you guys, man, I appreciate y'all for watching. I know this, this was a long one right here because he had a long video too, so it is what it is. So I appreciate y'all for watching. And don't forget, if you made it this far, go ahead and put down in the comments below, I want that candle. And I'll put your name down in, in the comments below. And you have a chance to win uh, my very first few candles I've ever made. Now this one, again, like I said, I'm going to burn this one myself to see how it burns and again I messed up on the heat anyways on the dye or the scent it is sweating out which I heard that can happen it'll separate uh, due to just certain you know, temps not quite being right if y'all hear that my, my dog's scratching right there okay I don't know why brought you guys man I appreciate y'all for watching don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video if this type of stuff you enjoy to see I mean it's kind of a different reaction but it's kind of cool I wanted to hear his thoughts and his his opinions so thank you all for joining me on this. Until my next one, you know what I'm saying?